Okay, so under this advanced rigging topic, we will be going over how to import a size relation chart inside of your scene so that you may resize your um, basic reference right here uh, to be the right size so that when we start rigging our characters, we don't need to um, have some setbacks and have to resize uh, anything in there. So what I'm going to do is first go and import my size relation. So I'm going to go through the same things as when importing my reference for my character. So file import images. I'm going to go browse for my file, which is size relation underscore ref. I'm going to go and click open and I'm going to keep those settings the same and press OK. So now I have my size relation here. I'm actually going to just come and connect it above everything else so that I'm able to see it properly. Um, and now you can see that I have another character here that is uh, supposed to be this size compared to my guy right here that I'm going to rig. So what I need to do first is import this character inside the scene because this guy is already rigged. So I want my other character to be able to match this one. So I'm going to go inside my library. I actually have him all set up for you guys uh, to work from. So I have uh, Ramsey right here, which is in my templates. Now, um, I have this folder open here on my uh, library. Now, if you guys don't have it, you can right click and select open library. And with this, you can actually go and select any folder that you have on your computer where your templates might be stored. So for me, it's right here. So I'm not going to open it again since I already have here. So you would select the folder. And now it ends up here. I have my template stored in there. So I'm going to grab my template, slide it into my node view. And I'm going to come and connect it above just like that. So now I have the size that the actual size that he's supposed to be. I'm going to come and resize my uh, size relation reference so that it matches the actual size of my character. So I'm going to create a peg in order to be able to move my size relation. So control P while having the uh, node selected. And we're going to give ourselves a little room here. I'm going to come and resize this to be the same size as my character. like that and that's a that seems about right so we're gonna keep it like that I no longer have any use for my character right here so I can actually delete him for good and now I have my size relation and under my size relation if I deactivate this I have my character which unfortunately isn't quite the same size as my size relation so I I'm actually gonna have to resize my uh, reference for this guy, which is going to be the, the main ref that I'm going to use for my rig. So we're going to be using this one. But now, how am I supposed to resize this if I can't even see what I'm doing? Well, you can go under your node library and go and get a transparency module, which we have right here. I'm going to connect this under my size relation ref so that I actually get a bit of transparency here and that I'm able to see what I'm doing with my uh, my character. So maybe I'll just bring this over here. Probably needs a bit of a resize. I can come and change my pivot point. I want it to look about exactly the same size. So that seems about right. So now I can deactivate it and I can actually get rid of my size relation and press OK. So here we have it.
I have my character properly sized and ready to go for rigging.